Yeah, you're in your map. And you're this is undermined to the map. What? what? Excuse, Excuse me. Excuse me. This, this is undermined to the minutes. I want to. I on. this. I want to add this because we all look foolish. We all look foolish last week. Okay. Thank I, you for I, hold on. I want you all to know. Oh, no, you're going to go on and make the comments. I want you all to know, I built 22 homes with my own two hands here in this village. Mr. Sher, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to tell you, hold on a second. Sorry. Don't, order, you should order, go on, please. hit that hammer. Order, order. This has nothing to do with the minutes. We're moving on. Do you have anything in the audience tonight? Anyone in the audience wait, that wait, has wait, anything? Wait, wait, wait. We need to approve the minutes. I'm sorry. All right. Does anyone have any comments related to the minutes? Okay. All in favor of approval? Yes. 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 All opposed? Anyone opposed? Or? Okay. They're approved. Okay, moving on. To, uh, the, anyone in the audience have anything for us tonight? Mr. Doherty. Yes, um, 214 Magnolia. This is, I guess, basically for Jay, Jason. Um, when the parking lot is done for the playground down there, could um, we get maybe one or two signs and put in the grass, say no parking on the grass, because right now there's about four cars sitting over there, and the lawn is soft. Which grass? Which parking lot? The, so there, just there's no side. parking right there, Jay. You can scroll. And they're what they're doing, the cars are parking there because they want to watch the game, but they're actually sinking because the lawn's really soft. I don't really have soft. to wait. We don't have to wait for the... They're going to rut it up. In the, yeah. in, the, in, the in the park. park. Yeah. I mean, right now our ordinance they, covers that they're yeah, not they allowed to park be on parking. the grass. There's a sign in there now that says. Oh. Okay. They should never be parked. You can't park on the grass. So. Okay. All right. Should be, that should be. So maybe just throw a sign up there, just so they don't rut it up anymore. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. That's it. Thank you. Anyone else in the audience have anything for us tonight? Okay. Moving on. Reports of the municipal officers, the mayor at this time would just like to say I'm going to be meeting with a uh, developer tomorrow about the Snell property. So um, I'll have a report at our next meeting and I'll keep council informed as much as I can. Moving on to finance director, Ms. Angracia. No report. Moving on to Mr. Wasowski, the engineer. Uh, the catch basin and uh, storm sewer replacement of the Victory Drive and Houghton Road. Uh, we sent out um, bids to three people via mail uh, to give us a quote. Two construction companies, Katz Construction and J and J Enterprises, submitted bids. Uh, Katz bid was eighty-four thousand seven seventy-nine and seventy-five cents. J and J Enterprise was ninety-six thousand six hundred sixteen dollars and eighty-four cents. My estimate for the job was fifty-two thousand six hundred twenty-two dollars and twenty-five cents. So they're way over the ten percent limit. So um, I'm rejecting both of those. I did ask Liberta Construction, who's doing the Houghton Road project, uh, if he would give me a quote to add it to his Houghton Road job as change order. He gave me a quote of fifty-four thousand eight hundred five dollars and zero cents. So uh, what was that again, Rick? Fifty-four thousand eight hundred five dollars and zero cents. So I recommend that we add that section as a change order to the Houghton Road job and just increase the Houghton Road project cost. I'd like to make a motion to accept that. Bid. Second. Motion made by Mr. Voitich, seconded by Mr. Hips. Any questions or comments? All in favor of approval of the motion? Yes. 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 All opposed? Okay. One thing, the thing with that, part of that, actually a small part, will be paid for by the regional sewer districts part of our stormwater fund. I, th I think it's probably going to be about um, $10,000 of that money. Uh, we have available yet uh, we can use there so that benefits us again uh, the state route 8 ledge road traffic signal replacement they poured the sidewalks and the controller pad uh, just uh, Monday and um, they're going to come back and do the final grading and seating 
hopefully this month. He couldn't give me a firm date. And, and then we're done with that one. The, uh, that, one's, that one came in under budget. Uh, I'm not sure how much right now, but it's going to be under the budget. MGM street signs on, on the mass storm poles. Uh, the mayor asked me to check this. The signs came in today, Mayor. So they're sitting up there today. Thank you, uh, Rich. Uh, the, the facilities manager asked me about who could put them up. And I, t I gave them Signal Services name as a company to use. Cause Just so everyone's aware, the village is not paying for this. This is right. paid for by MGM. Yes. Um, the Houghton Road Reconstruction of State Route 8. Um, the detour signs were placed up. The barricades are up. Uh, the catch basins and all the piping has been delivered. They saw it cut the uh, trenches for the installation of the new pipe. Uh, they should be moving on now to tearing out the uh, gutter on the north side of the pavement and then start uh, excavating for the sewer. Uh, hopefully, uh, either tomorrow or Friday, they'll start that work. And uh, all the residents have been notified of, of the uh, construction and what to do. And uh, hopefully we'll be out there by the end of August. The, the pole foundations for the three intersections were uh, drilled and the, and the foundations poured. They're all in shape. I got the uh, shop drawings yesterday for those from the manufacturer. Uh, we're looking at them now of those those approved tomorrow and then we got all the shop drawings we got 178 pages of shop drawings for the signal um, equipment that's going to take me a little while to uh, go through that um, but the polls will have approved tomorrow and that's going to be the big hang up on the job is uh, getting the polls on site so uh, hopefully we'll have them in September or so, we'll have the polls here, hopefully. And that's my report. Thank you, Rich. Um, Mr. Wysoski, uh, remember we spoke of the uh, crosswalks, and I was wondering where we're at with the state on the crosswalks. When are they planning on painting them? Well, the state uh, is not painting the crosswalks. The state's going to paint the uh, center line and the lane lines, but not the crosswalks or stop bars. We will have to do that uh, if we want to paint it. Uh, and I think we're planning now on after this contractor on Houghton Road gets done with the uh, signal work, we'll do, uh, we'll hire somebody to, to do the stop walks and uh, crosswalks if, if council and mayor are in agreement with that. Uh, we have a normal striping. I think every year we have an outfit in there doing some striping for us and we just have them do it. But you won't see it for a while, huh? Thank you. I, um, and also, I wanted to point out that um, they took the sign down over entering from uh, Macedonia side, uh, Northfield Corporation limit sign. I don't believe it's up. They took I mean, it down? It, uh, it's been down since construction started on Ledge Road. And I oh, yeah. We, uh, we, we took the sign down when we started Ledge Road because we put a chamber there. There's a big storage chamber underneath that area. Um, I thought it was put back up. Do you know, Jason? It will be. It will, we'll put it back up. Okay. But yeah, it's finished. Okay. Rich, I have a question. Um, just for the finish of Ledge Road, for the seating, for, uh, yeah. when is that going? Because especially more than anything, um, 301 Ledge, for the, the, the additional construction that was just done, all that grass and everything was taken out. So. I oh, yes, yeah. Um, for me. We're, we're meeting with the uh, contractor. Um, hopefully it's going to be Friday. He sent an email over to me. The Jason hasn't seen it yet, that he's available to meet on Friday. He's been, the contractor's been sick. And uh, he's, he's uh, hopefully Friday we'll meet. We're going to be talking about uh, a couple little things he still has to complete. And uh, we're going to put some under draining across the road. Thank you very much. Okay. Rich, I'd like to ask you a question on the MGM signs. Yes. Um, 
I might not remember it, but what signs are they putting up? How big oh. are they? Where are they? And uh, the, the green signs on the mass storm poles to give the street names. Before the street name sign said Vincent, it was half half said Vincent and half said uh, Roxino Way Hard Rock, or something. Hard Rock, Hard Rock Way. Well, now it's going to say MGM something. I forget what it's. Uh, it's way. Way, MGM Way, and Vincent. And the other sign will say... Um, I guess they both say that. They both say it. Right They'll right. say it. Yeah, it'll be the green signs. It's it's just that they they didn't want Hard Rock. Label. They didn't Thank want you. Hard Rock's name on it. Anymore. Sure. So. Thank you. Okay. Does anyone else have anything? We have the law director, Mr. Bryan. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I gave everyone a copy of a resolution 2019-33 that is not on the agenda today. That relates to the financing for the ambulance. Um, council approved the purchase of this ambulance the first meeting in November. They did approve financing from um, Bank Capital Services, um, um, which is FNB Equipment Finance, First National Bank of Pennsylvania, the second meeting of November. The ambulance is almost ready to be delivered, is that correct? Uh, yeah, next point is there. So at this point, we have a little better financing terms as far as you know the payments being a little lower interest. We're going to save a little money on interest so that we have a different financing package. So if we can add that to agenda when we get to the legislation and approve that, I'd appreciate that so we can get this thing delivered and dot the I's and cross the T's. Um, I also gave everyone a copy of the amended EMS service agreement um, with uh, MGM um, that relates to the paramedic service for the races and the racetrack. It's based on the same agreement that we've had in effect since they were opened. Um, the requirements changed as far as staffing a paramedic um, inside the building um, during race time and also paramedics rather than EMTs. So this agreement provides for those issues, allows us to charge a higher cost for the paramedics, allows us to have you know increases in future years based on raises we give to our employees and the other pay payroll related costs rather than having stricter limits on those um, payments and you know provides for the ambulance an increased amount of payments that goes toward the cost of the new ambulance that they're helping pay for and it's unlimited and takes away some of the restrictions so that just made it through the red tape of MGM with the with the transfer we presented that to them several months ago we have been operating on the pay provision since the end of February, so there's no back pay or anything that's going to be owed, so that, that part of it, but they just were able to get approval to sign the agreement, so I would like uh, a motion to approve that agreement by council, if you're so willing. Make a motion to approve Second. It. Motion by Mr. Voitish, seconded by Mr. Magistrelli. Any questions or concerns? All in favor of approval? Yes. 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 All opposed? Okay, thank you. I'd like to make a motion to add 2019-33 to the agenda. Okay. Motion made by Mr. Voitich, seconded by Ms. Nowak. Any questions regarding that issue? All in favor of the motion? Yes. yes. All opposed? Excuse me, what, what motion did you speak of? Okay. To add the okay. new financing new terms for the ambulance. Okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. Do we vote? I think we did, right? Okay. Yeah. All right. That motion is approved, and that's it for my report, Mayor. Thank you, Brad. Moving on to department heads. Police Chief Sean Zolbis is not present with us today, and his place is Sergeant Warren Obersinski. No report. Thank you. Fire Chief Jason Buss. Good evening, everyone. Um, just a few quick things to touch on. We did push back our hydrant flushing. It's going to start next week um, between voting. Um, we had our hose testing for our fire trucks today. Uh, we had just a lot of other stuff going on. So it's going to start next week and run through the end of the month. So same details as I mentioned last meeting. Um, again, that touch a truck event at the fire station June 8th. Um, if you have any 
suggestions and things that you'd like to see there. Um, we want to make it as accessible as last year, and um, we've, we've already got a couple new things coming for this year. And as we've mentioned, the new ambits will be here May 15th. Um, we were hoping it would be sooner, but it will be here next Wednesday. That's all I have. I talked to Mrs. Apana today too, and she's looking forward to your call. Okay, good. Moving on to service building superintendent, Mr. Walters. Thank you, Mayor, Council. Uh, I don't have much to report. Just want to let you know the, um, the salt barn roof is complete. Uh, we're looking probably about eight weeks before we can get the roofing done for the Lead road in uh, in this building. Uh, as far as projects going, we have many going on. As you know, Houghton is pretty much underway. Um, we'll be doing catch basin rebuilds. We have got some um, concerns, some complaints, or however you want to look at it. A couple areas that need to be patched, especially through the detours. I talked to one of our residents today that uh, which we already had knew about. So. We're probably going to try to get that patching done either tomorrow or Friday, so the detours and anything else we see. Um, also, it's something to think about if we're going to be doing the planning of the parks, things like this. Uh, a couple residents had stopped me for at the end of Maple. There we have the pit lock. We got the new sign, and they just asked if we could ever maybe think about paving that small area. So. Uh, it's something that you may want to consider when you're planning. Uh, otherwise, we can put it into, we'll put it for the budget next year. But if there's anything else that you'd want to see done at the pit lock. And then obviously we have the Smith Park, um, which we've all seen, you know, I still recommend we get into those committees and we speak. Um, there's a lot of things that need to be done over there at uh, Smith. So um, I know the pictures came around today, but I mean, we just want to figure out a plan as to what you want to replace, what you want to add. You know, you don't just throw a number at it. You know, figure out what, it, you know, whether it's fifty thousand, a hundred thousand, or ten thousand. It doesn't matter. But there's a got to get a plan. So, um, if you want me in the meetings, I think that it'd be good if I was. But if you want, whichever way, I think you better get started so we can get the plan together. And, talk to some companies, get some ideas before we start budgeting for the next year. All right, that's really all I have to report. Thank you, moving on to reports from this. I yes. have one question. Sure. Have we noticed any problem with waste with the uh, dumpsters over on ledge? I mean, like things that shouldn't be thrown in there yet? I haven't, I, nothing's been reported to us either. So. Uh, the guys look in the mornings. I, they haven't really said to me if they had to pull anything out, but um, we have Ledge, we have Houghton, and we had we have the uh, Chestnut ones. So the waste management hasn't said anything to us yet. So I think, I'll be honest, they're being used quite a bit less than they were last year. So hopefully maybe we got most of the junk out last year or whatever. <laughs> but we haven't had a lot of nice days either. So. You know, we'll see. Is there a limit so far, so good here. How high they should be stacking stuff? Like, what yeah. waste management? There's a line on there. It's <laughs> they go over a lot. I mean, you're fitting about two dumpsters in one dumpster. Yeah, we smash it. Okay. You know, until they get. But we have three dumps. You know, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So, I mean, we can't do much more. But it's at times, yeah. But it's a lot of big stuff that does smash down. So, so far, we're doing all right with it. I apologize, Garrett, that I cut you off there. That's right. <clears throat> okay, reports of municipal boards and commissions. Mr. Hips, one thing I think we might want to just schedule a meeting, because I don't know, with meeting with this developer, if we might have something or not. This month or next? This month would be great. Right. Mm -hmm. So it'll be the 15th? If, if we were meeting, we'd have to have something submitted by now, correct? I don't. Yeah. Rich, but yes. so so next so, month. Yeah, we can yeah, yeah. push to next month. Okay, so we can look at that when we get closer to time. But that would be the nineteenth. Yeah. Third, third, third Wednesday. June nineteenth. June nineteenth. Those are at seven thirty. 
Okay. So we'll pencil that one in. Yes, please. All right, thank you. I guess that's my report. Thanks. <laughs> thank you. Uh, Recreation Board, um, I think I want to schedule a meeting. Um, I think we have a few things we need to discuss uh, for the summer. Um, trying to see my calendar here. It's not up here. Right. June 5th, would it be? The first Is Wednesday? that the first Wednesday? Yes, it is. Right. Uh, June, June 5th at 6 o'clock here at Town Hall. I'd just like to schedule a meeting. Um, I think uh, some of the board members had some great ideas that I want to bring to everyone on the board. Okay, reports of the standing committees. Mr. Magistrelli of Finance. Uh, no report this evening, Mr. Mayor. Mrs. Tomzowski of Roads and Public Works. No report this evening. Mr. Sheriff Health and Welfare. Uh, yeah, uh, Health and Welfare, um, uh, Mayor, um, I was told last year at this time that we'd be switching into other departments and uh, I think I'd be of more use to be in uh, buildings and grounds and uh, rather than Health and Welfare. So I would, uh, I would ask right now at this point that if we could change that. Um, Mr. Council President, do you have? Yeah, we're, we, we decided at the, the beginning of the year to keep there in January. We were going to keep it the way it was. And uh, we said it at the first meeting, and uh, it's, we're going to keep it that way for 2019. You're more than welcome to come to any committee meeting. No matter what it is, it doesn't. Anybody can come. We can all go to each committee meeting. So, uh, the way it's set up now, we're going to keep it. But as the meetings come in, it doesn't mean you're not going to be there. Just, okay. That's uh, that's totally up to you to uh, to go to any meeting you want to. Thank you. Does that complete your report, Mr. Chair? That completes my report. Mr. Voitosh, of wages and working conditions. No report, Mayor. Ms. Nowak of Fire and Safety. Uh, yes, Mayor. Um, the chief wanted me to uh, bring to everybody's attention that the chief and Jason have met with a, a security ins installation group um, and looking to install cameras at the parks. And uh, there are roughly going to be six cameras, uh, including a license plate cameras at each park. And if Jason wants to add anything else to that at this point, I mean, I was pretty surprised on how inexpensive that is. Once he was showing us what he was doing, what what capability it has, and what all he'd be putting there. So uh, there would be a little bit of work that the service department would have to do, um, just maybe digging like a trench, but not a more of a cable trench, and it's not very deep. Um, I think for trying to protect the parks and you know help them with security the costs are very low for what they do so there's a lot of other capabilities and things so could they be monitored of, from the police department i believe our officer I, i'm not sounded like all any officer could even from their phone you know so um depending on which uh, recorder you go with, which it wouldn't make any sense to go with anything less because it's really minimal between the two in cost, you know. So it was pretty impressive. So um, they showed us some of the other towns that have done it, and um, he linked up to one, and I think it was Cleveland Heights, um, while we were standing there. It's, it's um, I think it'd be uh, a huge help, you know, that, a lot of times, you know, especially a lot of the things that happen in the parks that happen in the night, you know, and as soon as you see headlights, it's easy to get out of there. So that's, you know, you know, especially at Smith, you got to come up the hill, if, or if you park over on Jefferson, by the off time the officers would be able to get their kids would be. There's too many ways out, you know. It's. it's Can we get a demo from the company to see what we're looking at, or is it too early? A demo. As far as, I mean, they have, I'm sure he's putting a package together for us to present. Okay. So, but I'm sure, like a video or, like, I, I think if I'm not mistaken, you can even, they had some stuff on YouTube. 
I didn't get into much of that. I was more interested in what we'd need to get it done and, and you know, seeing what we'd have to, uh, I wanted to see what the cost would be. It, it was really quite impressive, so. Gary, I can have um, the uh, police chief contact you and he can talk to you more about it if you'd like. Sure, that'd be great. Sure, I'm contact Because he, yeah, he, it was set up through our police chief and then, you know, they asked me to come along, so it was, I was impressed. Thank you. Buildings and grounds, Mr. Hips. Like the schedule oh. of Were you done, Miss? Okay, I'm sorry. No. It's okay. Like the schedule of buildings and grounds meeting for May 22nd, that be before the next council meeting at 6:30. Everybody can check their schedules. That's on that committee. Does that work for everyone? May 22nd at 6:30, right? May 22nd at 630. Mr. Magistrelli, um, how would we do the finance that evening then? Oh, that, that does fall on that. Yes. So, um, we can do the finance at 6 o'clock. We'll just do it earlier, and this way you can have this, this time at 630 to 730. All right. Thank you. Thank you. That concludes my report. Okay, so May 22nd, uh, 6.30 for buildings and grounds, and 6 o'clock for finance. Moving on to legislation. Brad? Thank you, Mayor. First, we have 2019-31, an emergency resolution authorizing the Mayor to enter into an agreement with West Roofing Systems, Inc. to replace the Village Hall roof. Um, and this is something that was budgeted and has been planned for. I would like the cost to is the less than what it was budgeted for significantly. I would like to suspend the three reading. Second. Motion by Ms. Noack, seconded by Mr. Wojcicz to suspend the three reading rule. All in favor of the motion? Yes. 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 All opposed? Okay. Motion for passage? Second. Motion to pass by Ms. Noack, seconded by Mr. Wojcicz. Any questions or comments? Just a few comments. Um, I know that we're looking at having the wall looked at or redone potentially and then just figuring in the timing of that because the roof will tie into the wall making sure that we've got those in the correct order I know I talked to Jason about this and he said that we can we can push off the start date of the roof just get the paperwork taken care of at the beginning of this the roof comes with a 10-year warranty uh, we don't have a lot of foot traffic on this roof so the system that they're proposing should hold up decently well as long as we stay off of it All in favor of passage? Yes. yes. All opposed? Okay. And just to let everyone know, um, also <coughs> contemplated is the, a little different um, project with the service department, putting some insulation and coating the roof and doing some work there. Um, that will be on the agenda next meeting. Um, I'm still working out some of the issues with the NOPEC grant to, which is leads us into the next resolution, which is 2019-32, an emergency resolution authorizing the mayor to accept a Northeast Ohio Public Energy Council Energized Community Grant. Um, we got a grant in the amount of $12,262 last year that we did not spend, but it is an escrow and available for use this year for this type of project is what we designated for. This year's amount is $11,244, so for a total of $23,506, the cost of the service department roof is $29,400, so all but uh, a little less than $6,000 will be paid for through the NOPEC grant. We have got some paperwork to file to get the money, but... Um, we need to accept the grant is the first step in the process for getting the money for this year. So, so if someone would make a motion to suspend the three reading rules. Motion. Second. Motion by Mr. Magistrelli, seconded by Mr. Hips. All in favor of the motion? Yes. yes. All opposed? And is there a motion to pass? So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Hips, seconded by Mr. Magistrelli to pass. Any questions or discussion? All in favor of the motion? Yes. 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 All opposed? Okay. Resolutions adopted. And then we have 
2019-33 that was added to the agenda, um, an emergency resolution authorizing the mayor to enter into an agreement with Bank Capital Services LLC for financing for the purchase of a 2019 STS Medics SRH 148-2 ambulance. Is there a motion to suspend the three reading? Motion. Second. Motion by Mr. Magistrelli, seconded by Ms. Nowak. All in favor of the motion? Yes. yes. All opposed? Motion to pass. Second. Motion to pass by Ms. Nowak, seconded by Mr. Voitish. Any discussion? All in favor of passage? Yes. yes. All opposed? And the resolution is adopted, and that is it for the legislation there. Thank you, Pam. Is there any old business, new business, or announcements at this time? I'd like to get this out in the open so we can settle this. Mayor, last, last meeting was a fiasco and made us look stupid. You, uh, I, don't, I don't think we should have a rule against people raising their voice level to a, a decibel. One could, one get, you know, whether they're angry or whatever, I think monotone would be a lot better. But I, I, I got to let you know, I've been in this community since 1971. I'm a pillar here in this community. I have done more for this community than anybody here sitting on this bench. I've been out of my own pocket doing projects, and I demand that, I, I just want you to understand that I'm not here as a villain, I'm here as a squeaky wheel. I want things to get done. I don't want people to tell me, hey, uh, Keith, uh, you know, we're going to get that. We're going to get that because I hear that all the time. I miss it. Ha it happens a lot. Uh, it, it and you can see by the the people that came to the meeting how they were they were upset also, and and people stop by and talk to me and tell me it's not like it's just out of the blue. And in the in the pictures you guys received, I'm I really want to work on on that. I don't want to. Five years is like what the heck? You guys got your whole lives to live. But you, you've, you, you've been on, on, in, in this village for two, how many years on council, and you've been a mayor for eight years, and it's like, gosh, why don't we do something about, you know, give something back to the people, make, make the parks nice. And I understand, yeah, we're going to have a meeting with, with, with uh, Mr. Hips, but I don't even, it's, it's crazy, I don't even think that he was at the park until I mentioned the uh, apparatus that Mr. Magistrelli and I discussed we were going to tear it down this year. So you got to understand, when I get told we're going to tear something down, I, I get livid when you guys just, in, just oh, we didn't say that, we're not going to do that now. And it's like, we're going to paint it? And it, the, 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 the uh, the beams are rotting off of that, but it looks it, it looks really trashy. It looks bad. And Mayor, if all you have is I'm staring out the window, sometimes I get bored here, thinking that it's like like you're beating a dead horse at times. And I just wanted you to know, I'm here as a resident and as a council person. I represent people in my ward, and I represent people all around. And I want to do good for this community. Don't treat me as if, I, if, if I'm if i a villain here in this community. I want to make things nice. Thank I want you so much for your comments. Here. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You Sorry. can't ignore Squeaky Wheel. I appreciate it. I'm everybody. not ignoring. I just said thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else that has anything? Uh, Mr. Magistrelli, I believe you do. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, yes, I'd like to ask council if we'd like to uh, take a summer break. We usually take two days. Um, I was informed this uh, this week by Mr. Bryant that we were we could suspend uh, three meetings, which would be uh, July 10th, the 24th, and August 14th. The uh, uh, finance meeting that is scheduled for uh, the 24th, we can do a double one in August. Um, uh, there's there's a lot of work to be done in, in the village, and our service department will be working, and uh, we usually take it two, and then when it's Christmas time, so, you know, I'm uh, going to make a suggestion to have a recess this summer. I'll second that. You're making a motion made by Mr. Magistrelli, seconded by Mr. Voitish to um, cancel the July 10th, July 24th, and August 14th 
meetings or a summer recess. And, and during that time, if there's a, um, anyone that needs to speak, all phones should be on. We should all be available for any, uh, any conversation or any meeting during that time. So, um, you know, I'd like to make that. Uh, and if something comes up, a special meeting can get right. scheduled. So. Absolutely. And, and I'd just like everyone to keep in contact and not disappear and make sure that we all know what's, uh, if anything happens. And I will keep everyone aware of any problems that happen in the village or in the area. Thank you. Okay. All in favor of the motion? Yes. yes. All opposed? Okay. Motion is adopted. Okay, do we have a, does anyone else have anything before an adjournment? I'd like to make a motion for adjournment. Second. Motion to adjourn made by Ms. Domsowski, seconded by Ms. Nowak. All in favor of the motion? Yes. yes. All opposed? We're adjourned at 8.07. Thank you all for coming tonight. <laughs>